sorry, I'm just sat on him. Are you gonna go on the bed? He's literally gone through my legs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why are you always a star of my intros now, huh? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have an Audi haul. I do actually have a few snaps I did take in store of things that I didn't necessarily pick up but thought it was worth showing you within this video rather than actually vlogging in the store. It's just a couple of clips. Uh, clips couple of photos so I'll just pop them on screen and just kind of right, run through these really quickly before I show you the couple of bags that I did actually pick up so the first one was this woven lantern a few of you have actually sent me pictures of this on Instagram $12.99 they've got black and a nice natural kind of color very white company dupe I think that's why a few of you have sent me the links to that because I featured in my white company dupes video a bamboo lantern very similar to that then I also loved these natural woven baskets. You get a set of three and they were actually in the sale reduced down to $12.99 from $17.99. And then obviously we don't have kids, but I thought this was adorable. It's a kids garden string chair, $14.99 reduced again from $19.99. They had a nice kind of sage green color, but they also had a really natural color that I personally preferred. Then they had some water hyacinth baskets, $24.99, this was a set of two, these were quite big. They also had some cocktail making sets at $9.99, some picnic blankets, $7.99. They had an outdoor picnic table type setup thing for only $5.99 that I thought was quite handy. They had some wooden crate planters in, in both grey and a natural kind of colour at $4.99. Loads of Harry Potter bits, including some jigsaw puzzles, reduced down to $3.99. Mindfulness cards, a jigsaw puzzle, and message blocks. I particularly liked the mindfulness cards. It's hard to tell on this picture, but there was this gorgeous sunshade sale, it was called at $17.99. Really nice natural stone kind of colour that I thought would look good if you had an outdoor space that was small enough to be able to link that between things. They had some really nice irregular shaped wooden chopping boards that I really liked, or serving boards at $7.99. I also saw this little ceramic bird feeder that I thought was quite cute in a teapot shape. They also had some wire baskets in the sale reduced down to £3.49 in both black and white. And then also some placemats and coasters, again, white company style. Those ones are only $9.99 for the set. They also had some decorations for both hem parties and baby showers. I particularly love that baby shower uh, one that was adorable. More Harry Potter things, they actually had the illustrated books, celebratory edition of colouring books. And they had this gorgeous kind of wooden plaque board that if you've got a new baby, it was quite cute in terms of you kind of document their initial like weight and age and everything like that. It's good for maybe a child's bedroom to maybe keep updated as they grow older. They also had this shoot rug at $29.99. They did have it in black as well. I personally preferred the more natural colour. Then they even had a Foreo dupe, their own silicone facial cleanser, and it was reduced down to $7.99 from $9.99. They had pink, lilac, and blue. Again, very much like the Foreo, but maybe we could do like a little test and try out of a side-by-side -side comparison of those two. I also saw these rattan decorated highball glasses, tumblers, and jugs, which again, a few of you have sent me pictures of. They're all around about the $7.99 mark for um, the sets and the jug as well. And uh, yeah, loved the fact that they had like natural one, but also ones with black in. And they had a bamboo era in the sale for your washing from $24.99 down to $19.99. Little kind of wooden plaque slash blackboard for a menu board for a cocktail themed outdoor party maybe. They had some yummy new flavours from beanies, cookie dough, caramel popcorn, toasted marshmallow. It was actually a whole like American style section where they also had some of the marshmallow fluff. I'm not really a marshmallow fan but I do remember this living in America and they had different flavours as well. Then they had some makeup dupes for some high end brands. They had the like NARS style dupe and also the Too Faced dupe. I was actually tempted to get the Too Faced dupe. They also had some prime some setting sprays again very urban decay and that was it so I did pick up some goodies which I thought I would share with you before I do I just want to give a quick shout out to a small independent business which very kindly sent me a couple of their candles I like doing this because um, obviously I, I talk about and haul huge brands on a more regular basis so it's quite nice to just mention some smaller companies so this actually arrived today so I thought I would show it to you they sent me this gorgeous little card i love the floral illustration on the front and um oh they've even given me a discount code so freya 15 it's from a company called brooklyn candles studio here is their information on this card here 
and little imagery and then a little thank you card as well order card and also a candle care guide on the back as well and they have sent me their best seller this scent here is called sunday morning which in itself just sounds amazing but the top notes are pear bergamot middle notes are jasmine gardenia and base notes are, are amber woods smells really fresh it, I, i'd say this is a sunday morning for spring and summer more so than autumn and winter because it is very fresh and light and actually a bit of a hint of floral in there as well and then this one is the other candle they very kindly sent me in japanese citrus with top notes of satsuma yuzu and middle notes of bergamot base of jasmine and again that's real fresh zingy with a hint of floral. You guys know I'm not like big into floral scents and I love these. So they're definitely not too floral and overpoweringly grandma. They're actually really fresh, light and feminine. So yeah, thank you so much to Brooklyn Candle Studio for sending me over those goodies. They also came with the cutest little box of matches with the little XOXO. Without further ado, I feel like we should move on to actually showing you what I picked up from Audi. There's a spider in front of the plug socket. I'm trying to plug in my battery. Let's just hope it doesn't crawl on me now. Someone at the door. I feel like I should show you something that I did pick up for you so you can maybe sit on the bed with it. Yeah. What's this? They had these from the pet collection. Rope recycled dog toy. They were $3.99 and they had three different shapes. They had a starfish, a seahorse. I can't remember the third one, but um, I decided to go for the seahorse. <coughs> it's got a squeaker. <coughs> there you go. I like it. It's kind of like a really durable material, that one. Feels like it's going to last hopefully longer than five seconds. We'll see. A few of you had sent me pictures of the fact that Aldi now do this seasonal blooms range established 1999 long lasting dried flowers. So this little bunch was 6 99 which is reasonable for the variety that you get, but it is just a small bunch. So I would just get like a small vase, a bit like that one there in the background and just pop them into something like that. And there was a slight different variety and variations. They had some with lavender in, which I love lavender, but obviously this is just more my neutral kind of color palette. Oh, obligatory magazine on route out magazines hardly a magazine little brochure thing so i just ran to the freezer i forgot i picked up these as well so i thought i would just show these first and then run pop them back in the freezer but they do these uh mac you know what aldi like with duping big brands it looks like they're duping mcdonald's so big stack rather than big mac obviously it's one pound 49 that one was and then i also got these which i've definitely already opened and they are caramelized biscuits chopsticks so they're essentially biscoff flavor and honestly these are so delicious love them and these were one pound 89 and you get three in a box i'm just gonna go down the receipt i think pink cloudy lemonade 45p that's a bargain isn't it let's go pay sachets i know what that is one pound 49 another stock up of a limited edition christmasy cinnamon bun lattes which i end up picking up every time I go to Aldi. In that American section that I mentioned earlier, they had this cinnamon brioche. They also had a cream cheese brioche, which I had no idea which one to go for. I ended up opting for the cinnamon one. I don't know why. I think I would have loved the cream cheese one just as much, but I do love a bit of cinnamon. So I decided to pick up this brioche. It's tear and share, 199. I feel like this camera angle is gonna keep changing within this video, but it's just because just had to switch a battery, then had to run to the freezer. Mayonnaise is 69p. I also picked up these to try, only 89p each. They are the Aldi version of the coffee sachets, but they're actually iced versions. So these ones in particular are salted caramel flavor. Empty your sachet into a cold glass, add cold water and ice, I guess as well, and stir well. 89p for eight sachets as well is an absolute bargain. <gasps> yes, I forgot. So I'm a lover of like thriller novels. In fact, anything really in terms of TV as well. I love true crime. I love watching people on YouTube that do true crime stories, all those kind of Netflix docu-series which come out with the whole true crime aspects. I'm all for it. That's my favorite kind of TV entertainment. 
I do also love Love Island, but we'll skip past that. This is Sherry LaPena's An Unwanted Guest, Couple Next Door, she wrote. I think there's another one that I have read of hers as well. Let me see the back. Oh yeah, I've just finished Someone We Know and really enjoyed that. Stranger in the House. I don't think I've seen that scene. I don't think I've read that one. And then the other one is The End of Her, which again, I don't think I've read. So I've read two of her books. We can't choose the strangers we meet. As the guests arrive at beautiful remote Mitchell's Inn, they're all looking forward to a relaxing weekend deep in the forest miles from anywhere. They watch their fellow guests with interest from a polite distance. Usually we can avoid the people who make us nervous, make us afraid. With a violent storm raging, the group finds itself completely cut up from the outside world. Nobody can get in or out. And then the first body is found and the horrifying truth comes to light. There's a killer among them and nowhere to run. So yeah, kind of murder mystery thriller type book that I'm really excited to read. It's only $2.99 as well. These retail for $8.99. I also got some more mint imperials. This is a little stock up for my jar, which I actually brought in just to show you. Um, from her mouth is this is usually full and as you can see it's just getting a little bit lower so I thought I'd just grab one bag for now um yeah home bargains this is one of their I think they usually put them in the bridal section wedding type section but they're just a glass lidded jar which you could put cotton buds in have in your bathroom like me you could have it in the kitchen with either biscuits or mint imperials you could have dog treats in here all sorts and they're only 45p as well for that big bag i also got this okay this is a fabulosa spray which usually i'm as a flora gal if i'm gonna opt for one um but these are obviously already cons they're like watered down ready to use whereas the flora you do have to um water down yourself but it's in the scent intense and I remember, I think it was Laura here on YouTube talking about this in one of her cleaning videos as like a manly kind of fragrance, and it is. But there is another one as well, I think called Fab Ventus, which again is meant to be a real masculine kind of musky man smell, basically. Fabulous spray it was only 99p. Okay, I got two sets of these travel cutlery sets. They had them in gold and black. I actually went for the black ones because the gold were quite a yellowy gold, and I don't know, I just thought the black look, uh, looked a little bit nicer. So within this, really random, but you get one of those uh, metal straws and the straw cleaner with it. And in fact, you get two because then you get a bent one as well. And then you get your fork knife and spoon and what i loved about this is it comes with a little linen wrap bag so again if you're out and about traveling and you need to take a cutlery set with you it's nice that it wraps up and can keep them all kind of together so what am i going to show you next let's have a look tissues i've already put them in the toilets bought a nine pack of tissues two pound 59 salad dressing i don't remember getting a salad dressing oh i did get a salad dressing okay You'll see why. Mustard and maple. How delicious does that sound? My autumnal like blood is boiling and it's brewing and I can feel an early autumn coming on. I feel like when it's wet and miserable like it is outside right now and I'm looking out there, I'm loving the cozy vibes and anything autumnal jumps out at me all year round, but particularly at this time of the year. Oh my god, it's July, it's July, it's July. I feel like end of August, I'm fully in the swing of things when it comes to looking out for autumn things. September is autumn, so mustard and maple salad dressing just made me think of autumn. Oh, Beanie's USA mix. So I did pick up one of the flavours, the one that I went for, again, autumnal vibes. It is in the scent Sweet Cinnamon. Like I mentioned about the brioche, I'm a cinnamon lover. There were the other flavours that I showed you earlier, but this is the one for me that I feel jumped out most. And Beanie's coffee usually isn't, oh, it's sealed. I'll leave it sealed for now. It's not usually the most uh, flavorful as far as coffees go when it in terms of the flavors that they mention. But I figured with a hint of sweet cinnamon and I've got cinnamon syrup as well, I figured that would work quite nicely with that. $1.99 and then I got some peanut butter at $1.69. Oh, I forgot. I also got this flavor beanies. You ready? Again, autumn vibes. Maple fudge. I'm gonna have a mustard and maple salad. 
with a maple fudge coffee and a piece of my cinnamon brioche. Am I getting you in the mood for autumn or am I just going crazy? Okay, I showed you those rattan glassware kitchenware. I did opt for the jug and I opted for the all natural as opposed to the black and natural colour. This has 1.5 litre capacity, handmade glass. And yeah, I just thought for 7 99 for like outdoor hosting in particular in the summer, this could be one of those seasonal items that you get out. Because I do actually have, I do have a, uh, like a fully, fully ceramic Le Creuset jug from TK Maxx. But I thought this one would be nice for summer. So yeah, how nice is this? $7.99. I also got this. So speaking of the cutlery travel sets that I picked up. I also saw this cutlery holder two pack. So this is just the holder part if you didn't want to opt for the full set. It's 3 dollars this one was. Okay, so there's the little cutlery organizer. So you pop the cutlery bits in there, wrap it up, tie it up, and there you go. And white as well, standard. Okay, I also picked up from the cleaning section one of these anti-back cleaning pads, Minky Dupe. And then I got this again from the American section, £1.69. And this is a throwback to living in America. I absolutely loved peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So this is strawberry jelly, they call it, but it's jam, strawberry jam and peanut butter. American style it says I'm new from the brand Grandessa. That with white Warburton's bread is a winner. And I also picked up this, which I thought sounded really good. It's from Stokes, Bloody Mary ketchup made with vodka and Worcester sauce. You know, if you just want something a little bit different, maybe with like a barbecue burger or something rather than a standard ketchup. I used to always get these when I worked um, my last job in an office. We all used to get these compliments. And I always, always, without fail, I had these within our drawers. These are 79p and these are the spearmint flavor. They're sugar-free, so good for just like breath freshener if you don't want chewing gum, but also just to like kind of have on the go. £1.49, this was in the sale. I did actually see this a while back when it first came into stores um, at £2.99 originally and it did make me laugh because this is Tom all over it. No me, I'm a bit of an activity journal type obsessor and um, yeah so there's loads of different like activities to do like for instance or like little um, puzzles like there's little maps spot the difference just really random stuff and fun facts and quizzes and all sorts. 65p, these are like the best floor wipes. They are so big, I don't just use them on the floor, I use them wherever. In particular, when I'm cleaning, um, I always tend to opt for these for the toilet before actually cleaning it, just to, I don't know, or like surfaces like in the kitchen, if I'm cleaning the hob, I usually go in with a wipe first just to remove all the crumbs and the main kind of bulk of grease before actually cleaning it. So I've invested in a really nice waterproof coat slash lightweight jacket that you just throw on either at this time of the year um, or layer up in winter. And it's from Adidas. It was kind of pricey, but I'm a dog walker now. I walk my dog every single day. And it rains a lot in this country. So me and Tom went on a rainy walk the other day with him and I was just drenched wet through. Tom had this really nice Adidas jacket. So I invested in that. Tom also had waterproof trousers, which I thought, I'm pretty sure I had some somewhere. There might be some, maybe in the basement somewhere in storage. Um, but these I saw on sale for 9 99 And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get a pair. And they're just plain black. I did size up to a 12 to 14 because this is the sort of thing that I'd probably wear over what I'm wearing, especially in winter. So if I've already got leggings on with some walking boots, then these would be a good go-to. I also got a bag of the coffee for, this was £1.09, and nine pence, really randomly. They had a few different uh, levels of intensity and different blends. I went for the house blend. Two last things, and both are actually from the beauty section. This first one is a luxury perfumed hand gel in the number one scent lime basil and mandarin. I featured this in my last Aldi haul in pomegranate and I decided to pick up another one. I'm running low on the other one. I like to have these just kind of in the car or in handbags or whatever. Good size and a good little Jo Malone dupe as well. Although they don't do hand gel. I asked that in store actually the other day. I said, do you do any? And they said, not yet. Who knows if they will. And then the last thing that I got is definitely a high-end La Prairie dupe, which I have mentioned before, this range that they do in Aldi called the Caviar Range, La Prairie, Switzerland brand, super high-end, really expensive. I've tried their products before and they are nice, but they're very 
expensive. So they have a caviar range and the fact that they dupe caviar, I saw this luxury anti-aging sheet mask. It's just a single mask for $2.99. Recommended age group, it does say between 40 and 60, but I always have been taught that anti-aging should start really from 25 as your collagen levels reduce. So yeah, I'm gonna see online. Let's see if La Prairie do an actual sheet mask in the caviar range or if that's just them making that up. I mean, this just goes to show the actual price point. Skin cream, 427 pounds. The, uh, that's the one that I've tried. The Skin Liquid Lift, £576. Skin Lux, 777 It's expensive. They do do a caviar mask, but it's one that you actually like brush onto your skin. And that is £325. £299. The cuteness overload right here. Oh, he's running. He's running in his sleep. He is so cute. He's just fallen asleep with his new toy. How adorable. So anyway, that is everything that I picked up from Aldi this time around. I'm really excited to get going with this little read. They did have some candles in there as well that I was keeping my eyes peeled for. A new range of, I think they're like different travel inspired, like Morocco, Italy, um, a couple of other countries as well. But I will keep an eye out for them. Other than that, that is everything that I picked up. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. Do let me know if you want me to continue doing these on a more regular basis as and when I go and do my Aldi food shop. Hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.